afternoon. I would like to represent to your attention our work with the topic Random Forest, the method of predicting the presence of cardiovascular diseases. According to the World Health Organization, as of 2020, the leading cause of deaths is heart diseases. This disease is responsible for 16% of world's total deaths. Since 2000 years, the largest increase in deaths has been for this disease, rising by more than 2 million to 8.9 million deaths in 2020. Also, the number of deaths will add up by 24.5 million in 2030 because of the growth of cardiovascular factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, and so on. So it is quite important to make correct predictions of heart disease that can prevent life threats. However, incorrect predictions can be fatal at the same time. The scope of machine learning algorithms is increasing in predicting various diseases. Machine learning algorithms are often used for cardio disease prediction systems. When doctors fail to make accurate decisions while examining a patient's disease, disease prediction systems that use machine learning algorithms can help. Thus, the problem of medical diagnosis can be solved with the help of the classification problem. One of the classification algorithms is random forest. It is one of the most used algorithms due uh, to its accuracy, simplicity, and flexibility. It is used to create a classifier model that can predict disease with higher traits and accuracy. Random forest is an ensemble machine learning method based on decision trees that involves creating multiple trees and then combining their results to improve model generalization capabilities. Decision trees are the building blocks of a random forest algorithm. Uh, decision trees are a decision-making tool that uses a tree-like graph of a decision model and their uh, possible consequences. Decision trees seek to find the best distribution for a subset of data, and uh, they are usually learned using a classification tree algorithm. The theory that is that a large number of uncorrelated trees will create more accurate predictions than one individual decision tree. This is because the volume of trees work together to protect each other from individual errors and overfitting. For the practical part of the research, it was decided to investigate a data set that contains data about patients and the, whether they have been diagnosed with cardiovascular disease, so that the problem of classification will be solved. This data set consists of uh, 70,000 patient records, which include age, height, weight, uh, gender, blood pressure, um, cholesterol, blood glucose, whether the patient smokes, whether the patient drinks alcohol, whether the patient is physically active. Before training a random forest model, we did uh, preprocessing, which had included removing um, duplicate uh, rows, finding possible emissions and removing them, applying hot encoding to columns cholesterol and gluck. So on this slide, you can see two figures. First figure shows the number of patients who were diagnosed, yellow column, and were not diagnosed, green column, cardiovascular disease relative to their age in years. As a result, the ratio of patients to healthy patients increases with age. Second figure is about linear relationships between variables. So there is no direct uh, linear relationship between variables. However, it can be noted that the highest values of correlation relative to the target variable, uh, cardio, have indicators that correspond to blood pressure, ab high, ab low. Before training, the data set needs to be divided into a train set and a test set. A ratio of 80% train and 20% test. The random forest classifier class from the Skikit Learn library was chosen to train the random forest model. In order to improve the accuracy of the model, the search for optimal grid search hyperparameters was used. It sorts the combinations for, from the giving hyperparameters and chooses the best combination. Uh, on this slide, you can see the number of true and false predictions. 
of the classifier uh, for the for this the error matrices for the train and test sets accordingly are shown. Uh, as a result, the relative distribution of errors has been preserved from the train to test sets, and therefore the model is well generated. The model makes fewer uh, false negative errors when the correct prediction is one and the model gives a zero. Uh, false negative errors um, is when the algorithm didn't uh, recognize the disease and recognize the sick person healthy. Obviously, ideally, we aim for the classification algorithm to, is to give zero errors for of the false positive and false negative classes, but in real life, this is rare. But uh, each model uh, should minimize the number of errors. Since the problem of binary classification has been solving, the most objective uh, metric is uh, rock aug um, area under the error curve. The rock curve uh, provides detailed information about the behavior of the classifier. Uh, the curve is the result of the true positive rate and the false positive uh, rate, depending on the threshold. As a result, the metric values are similar on the training and testing data sets, so the model is uh, well generated. To summarize, it should be said that the goal of the study has successfully been achieved, namely uh, with the help of the one of the most popular methods, the method of random forest, to predict the presence of cardiovascular disease in people with different health conditions. The accuracy of predictions is um, 80%. The same operations were performed for another ensemble algorithm, uh, gradient boosting. When using the algorithm, the correct predictions were 73 percent there's a hook metric for the test data show a high prediction score of um, 0.79 so the classifier worked quite well so thank you for your attention